This is tight, tight, tight. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Today, I have two amazing things for you. So let's get started right away. So the first amazing thing I want to show you today is X-Portrait 2. Now, this is not released yet, but what you can see on the screen is how this can animate faces. And you can see how massively expressive this is because one of the biggest details you have with stable diffusion with AI image generation and especially video generation is the emotional expression of the faces and here as you can see that actually works fantastic because it is using the tracking of a real face and then replacing it with images like that. And of course, if you check out the website, they have multiple examples. Now you can see the input image on the lower left. You can see the input video on the lower right, and then how this is converted into an actual video that has amazing expressiveness. It also tracks all of the facial features like the eyes where they are looking, the mouth, everything is in there. And this is really fantastic. So with tools like this, you can imagine how this is driving creativity for independent artists, because with that, as you can see on the left side, we have the image input, and then you can create completely different styles for that. So that means that you creating a future movie, a series, a show, anything you want, maybe even becoming a virtual YouTuber, is in the grasp of your hand because you can have this expressiveness and at the same time you can become all of the different characters in all of the different styles. And that of course is a super important step that makes clear again that AI is not replacing artists, it is working alongside artists and especially empowering independent artists to do more with their skills and their creative ideas. Let's look at the next thing I want to show you. And that next thing is Detail Demon. Installing this is very easy. Grab the domain up here and you copy that and you go over to ComfUI and then you have your manager here on the right side. Click on that and here you have install from Git URL. You click on that, you put the URL in here and click on OK. Let it install, restyle ConfUI, and that's it. Now, this also includes example workflows. You can see right here, when you click on that, you see you have different workflows here that show you different ways to use that. That is pretty useful. I would suggest you to start with the first one, comparing detailers. Before we go into comparing the detailers, one of the most important things here is that you scroll down a little bit on that GitHub page. You see here notes and one of the most important notes here is the detail daemon sampler. This gives you a lot of different adjustments. It looks a little bit overwhelming, but don't worry. It is pretty easy to understand because if you scroll down a little bit more, you can here see a description of all these kind of different settings and you can also see here the suggested ranges to use with these settings. Now this, interestingly enough, works with Flux, but it also works with SDXL and SD 1.5, even though read through the text here, there is different values suggested for these other models. Now, when you open up the test workflow inside of ComfUI for the comparison of the different detailers, it looks like this and actually you don't really have to do anything much with that. So I want to show you just to give you a better overview of what is happening here. On the right side here you have your prompt which is happening twice. So just copy the text from the top to the bottom if you change anything. And then you have here right next to it the amount of steps in case you want to change that. The rest of the settings you can basically leave as they are unless you want to of course change here the resolution of the image with the empty latent image. So here we have the size and then here we have the different methods. Now here we have two nodes that look very similar. You might be confused by the second one, what it actually does. And the only thing it actually does is show you that graph down there. And this is basically telling you how the noise is basically adjusted 
during the steps of the creation. So during the steps of the flux image creation or also SDXL and SD 1.5, the amount of details is adjusted over time with the amount or the steps of the generation. And here you can see right now, we have basically this kind of even amount over most of the steps. This is either rising or lowering over time. You can adjust with that if you want to have the details more details at the beginning with the bigger rougher details or more details at the end where the smaller details are play around with that there is a lot of different potential to play around not just with the settings but also with the prompt to get the results but this is just a visualization so you actually don't need that and i personally don't really understand why this graph wasn't just put into this note here at the bottom because this is where you actually do the settings you want to apply so play around with these values like i said also read through them on the github page i prepared some tests for you i want to show you right now so in these test images you can see on the left side where this detail demon node was not used at all this is just a flux image generation and then on the right side you can see the values and in this case i only changed the amount of detail that is applied to the image and even here we have only 0 0.1 as the strength of the detail you can already see that there is a little bit of changes especially these beautiful eyes in his feathers look very very nice but one thing i want you to also pay attention to is the detail you have in the background now here only a little bit because as you know with the flux model you get a very strong bokeh in the background with not much detail here you have a little bit more detail now we go one higher and you can see that we have more detail let's go a little bit higher and you can see that the detail in the background is getting more and more now at a certain point it is becoming too much detail even in the foreground but i can see that overall the image is changing and giving you a very different result that is also beautiful and has more details in there and when we go stronger and stronger with that at a certain point it kind of gets over poured it has this kind of extreme exposure that makes the things a little bit too bright and when we go even stronger and then at a certain point it turns into a drawing which i find actually wonderful because you can get some pretty cool results now maybe not here but i have prepared for you a second example this is from my live stream actually and uh, here i rendered that again so on the left side you can see the one without the note on the right side with the note and already i feel like this is really beautiful now he has two arms he has these beautiful details in the front with this glowing gem the image looks really nice also look at the details you have in the fur and these kind of like glowing eyes everything here looks really beautiful and then again if we go stronger now here actually a very big change surprisingly but also kind of looking good and when we go stronger this looks pretty realistic but it has this kind of like too strong brightness in the background and then we go stronger it is a really interesting effect until we come again to the point where it turns into a drawing i have to say this is actually pretty cute i mean it's not what you want from that but i have to say it looks really nice and also this kind of looks nice it reminds me a little bit of the people who lives in the sewers in Futurama, but overall, uh, yeah, it's just very cool what you get, even though this is an error, I'm pretty much in love with that. And here you have the strongest version, which is very, <laughs> very end of the worldish, but still pretty, pretty cool. So when we go back to the workflow, you also have two other methods down here, which is the lying Sigma sampler. And here you only have three values, which is maybe a little bit easier to understand, but maybe also a little bit more difficult to control. Uh, you have the dishonesty factor and then where it stops, where it starts. Play around with that and see what you can get from that and below that we also have here the multiply sigma which has also here a factor and then a start and an answer only three values so give that a shot like i said this workflow is included 
in the GitHub page. So I feel like we are figuring out Flux a lot more step by step. And you can see that Flux is a completely different beast that needs more tweaking and more tools. But on the other hand also has more simplicity in that, for example, training Flux models is very approachable, very easy, but at the same time limited to a smaller array of things. What you can actually do with that. I'm gonna do a video about that sometime soon also and try out the node I showed you today because it's a lot of fun to play around with. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.